date of entry. It is actually still June 3rd, 2024. I wanted to record this as a buffer. So I guess this will be going up on June 4th or 5th. We'll see. Anyway, back at it with more magical star sign. We are in the spiny mole hole. And we are about to go talk to the mole king. Welcome to Peat Moss, home of the spiny moles. Heard you were headed to Buffoon before you crashed here. You must be so lost. They say our king is the greatest digger in the galaxy. Maybe his royal highness can dig a hole to the wind planet. Nah, what am I saying? That's impossible, even for his majestic claws. I want to talk- no, can I talk to this guy? Please? The king is waiting for you just ahead. Okay. Well, I want to talk to all the moles first. Lots of magicians used to live here, but the robots took them all away. What's the point of even telling you? Not like you can do anything about it. Huh. There are more moles over here, right? Can I talk to you? Psst. It's Romano. I heard all about what happened. You heard him for Buffoon, but you ended up here on mistake? Smooth. Real smooth. Okay. Not to be rude. Oh, a shop? Stop by the salvage shop for weapons and protective gear. If you're feeling a little worse for wear, come stay at Sweet Root Inn. Yeah, what am I looking like for health, actually? Oh, bad. I <laughs> yeah, I should. What do I have in the shop? I will, I will make sure I have um, enough money by staying at the inn first. Oh, it's only five Vera. I'll stay until evening because then by the time I get to combat next, it should be morning and then I can be super powered. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Thank you. I'm supposed to be talking to the king. I'm just over here doing some bullshit. It's fine. I'll buy like four of these. I'll buy two of these. That's about all I can afford right now. Um, but I will equip these. I forget. How have I forgotten how to equip something? There we go. Okie dokie, I've gotten a couple things from the shop. That's probably the best I can do uh, for right this second. Those are the sacred digging grounds. Okay. Okay, now I guess I have to talk to the king. Can I talk to you first? I'm Gruyere, cousin to the noble king Gorgonzola himself. Or Gorgi, as I used to call him back in the pouch. I might not be as high and mighty as the great digging king himself, but I'm doing well enough as the court troubadour. Oh, mighty digging king, show us the claws moist with earth that dug for us so swift as village do. Really bad at coming up with a tune on the spot, so 
It's the best you get. Hey, I'm Colby, the king's grandson. I don't know if that means I'll ever get to be king, but I do know it means that I get awesome birthday presents. What? It's so hard to talk to when they're moving around like that. God damn. Our people have been around for a long time. That's why we use so many books. Better go talk to the king. Okay, can I, can I investigate first? No, I don't want to read books, actually. I should, I should just go talk to the king. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Please speak to the king. God, he looks so funny. Spiny moles are such funny looking creatures. Salutations, and welcome to Peat Moss, capital of the Spiny Mole Empire. Mole Empire? So you're all moles? Moles. How dare you? We're spiny moles. Can you not see? And you are addressing his royal majesty, King Gorgonzola, the 13th king of the Spiny Mole dynasty. What our minister says is true. We are King Gorgonzola de Formaggio, 13th king of this mighty moldy monarchy. Judging by your appearance, you are not from this planet. And judging by the fact that you escaped the robot's prison, minister, could these young magicians be the, one, the ones prophesied to appear at the time of the great perishing? Are these the ones sent to bring salvation to our world? Indubitably, Your Majesty. No doubt they are the heroes of prophecy, the ones who came to us in the doomy times. The uh, doomy times? But the story is well known to our people. You see, when doom comes to this world, there is from another planet to save us. You, my young friends, are from another planet. And now, I fear, is indeed the end we have feared for so long. Once we had many magicians living in this kingdom, but the robots have taken them all away, made prisoners of them. And our earthworm harvest has dwindled. Heroes? But we're not supposed to be here. It's an accident that we're even here in the first place. We were trying to get to the wind planet for our teacher, Miss Madeline. We just crashed here by accident, and now our rocket is busted and we can't leave. Such humility speaks well of great heroes that you do not even see your own greatness. You want to go to the moon, and yet you have no ship, and so you want to help us, so that we might help you, yes? No, that's not really what I was trying to say, exactly. Don't be so pessimistic, space heroes. We are certain that you will find your way to the Wind Planet in due time. Yes, all in due time. Minister, fetch us the books. With all haste, you come this. <laughs> oh, he's so fast with it. I wish I could move that fast. God damn. I would be able to get to the grocery store and back in like 20 minutes. Here you are. Prophecy is written in two books. One is the Book of Darkness. The other is the Book of Light. Read from the Book of Darkness! Yes, Your Majesty. Ahem. In the Doomy Times... That's how the best books of prophecy always seem to begin, don't you know? Let me to read on. In the Doomy Times, saviors will appear from a far-off planet and end the reign of the Ant Queen with the power of magic. The Ant Queen? Yes, the scourge of our people. The Ant Queen. She has harried our kind for too long, and she must be stopped. This is the favor we must ask of you. Vanquish the Ant Queen. Will you accept our request? Ah, you have our gratitude. Uh, Yaro? Didn't you, uh, hear the whole bit about the scourge of our people? Are you sure about this? Lassie, I want to kill the giant ants. You have to understand that. 
the Book of Darkness also says this. The heroes will lead the spiny moles to a wormy paradise. But the hero's journey will not end. They will continue on to greater deeds. A wormy paradise? I didn't think it was possible to combine those two words. The heroes will defeat most villainous evil. The spiny moles will be at their side when the moment comes. But you will help us sooner or later, right? Fine. I guess we just have to take your word for it. Thank you, O oh shorter of two heroes. Now tend to the Ant Queen, as is your destiny. Rightly spoken, your majesty. But they may need time to make whatever preparations they deem necessary. Ah, yes, I knew there was a reason we kept you around, Minister. You are ever a gushing font of wisdom. I wish you wouldn't say gushing. They don't like that he says gushing. The heroes shall prepare in our village. He will travel to the digging field and await their arrival on the outskirts of the village. remember what the passage of time is like, uh, magical star sign. Just a few feet a day will do. Just keep digging holes. After all, as they say, you won't find anything if you don't dig. I'm digging here in search of more delicious earthworms to eat. We can't find any worms. We'll go steal gummy battery cores from the robot town. They taste pretty good, actually. So we keep the treasure that we dug out of the hole. Can't take it out without the king's permission, though. Find worms and put them on the table, but don't let the ant queen find you. Your ant food, if she does, she'll suck the life out of you. The worms you find belong to everyone in the kingdom. Don't be a greedy guts. Well, Zola at the digging game. According to the Book of Darkness, the Ant Queen is a vicious adversary. Please do be careful. Go down the ladder there, and then go deeper and deeper into the cavern until you find the Ant Queen's lair. Heroes though you are, do not feel the need to be extra super healers. If you take any injuries, come rest in our local inn. It can be dangerous in those caverns, and you must be cautious. Okay. Alright. Are you the ones who vowed to destroy the Ant Queen? The heroes I've been hearing so much about? Yeah, right. You're just telling me what I want here. Okay. If you say so. Gummy frog. Oh, milky gummy gummies. A little vice for you. Okay. Yeah, I, I know about the gummy frogs. I I I'm a veteran, sir. Or easy with the whole frog and worm catching. Okay. It's Peepot! <laughs> oh, yeah. I did almost forget about the wind magic thing. Uh.
There we go. I'm going to go heal up because I can and it's free. It's cheap, easy, and free. Okay. I do, I do want to cheat quite remember all that goes on down here. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've played. That's fine. Nut spread. I got. I, I never mind. I shouldn't make that just fun. Um. <laughs> See, this guy's green, so he should be. He shouldn't have the super high magic defense. I think. I think the ants have different. Like they have like magic and. Uh, yeah. Okay. He's fucking gone. Obliterated, even. What do we got over here? Anything? Oh, chest. That's good. Ah. Dang. Fucking. I love the creatures that they have here. I'm saving uh, extremely regularly uh, because I get paranoid uh, in games. Uh, it's fine. What is that? Oh yeah, the wakey tails. Okay, I should probably heal up. Let's heal. And then save. Heal Lassie. Get all my MP back. Save. So that we can ensure we are nice and prepared. Oh god, I forgot she looks like that. Oh, I hate it so much. <laughs> so bad. You! That icky pulsating thing has got to be the queen ant, don't you think? Uh, yeah, probably. This clown. Please. Oh no. Uh, so much. Oh my god! So, so much damage. <laughs> so much damage. Okay. Kick the shit out of this guy. Stop. Stop it. Get some help. I need to kill these things before they... 
fucking annihilate me uh, by feeding me to the queen. Ow. God. Fuck's sake. Die. Oh, come on, man. I'm so... Oh, I'm so tired already. This fight. Oh my god. I kind of honestly forgot how brutal the first proper boss fight is. All of the boss fights are pretty brutal. Um, but they, they're worse when you're like not a very high level. Don't do that. Come on. HP does she have anyway? I don't quite remember. Oh, this battle is gonna take a while. Isn't it? <laughs> oh shit, it's daytime now. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho ho ho. Don't do that. Don't do that. Can you leave me alone? Can you stop it perhaps all right let's see almost 200 damage is pretty good all right stop it also, I feel like I just realized that it's, uh, antacid, like antacid. Um. Oh my god! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Please! Oh my god. Stop. I have so much help. And they're just targeting me. Can you at least target Lassie some more? Oh my god. Stop it. Oh, thank god. Man, I'm not having a fun time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I feel like the answer's still just like there. Uh, I fucking killed it though, that's pretty good. Okay, let's kick the shit out of these guys. Uh, and get them dead. Ha. Huh. Okay. The problem with defending is it's so hard to have the reflex of like knowing who they're gonna target. Um, so I just kinda have to I just kinda have to guess. Well, I don't have any fucking MP, so I guess I just have to kick this guy. I can't do anything to him, because he's physical resistance. Um, it's fine, Lassie can kill him. 
hopefully this kills him. I don't want to be here anymore. Uh, thank God. Oh, and we leveled up. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Ew, I think she left something. Shouldn't we at least take a peek inside? You don't have to tell me twice. I don't want to check even if you hadn't said anything. Diggy Claws. What is that? It looks like some kind of glove. Have a sippy. We have a sippy of that water. Oh, water. Okay. Roll forks. Getting forks up in here. Ooh, ooh. Okay, let me, I think I have to go talk to King again now. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. you have vanquished our hated enemy, the Ant Queen. There's little left to do but to declare you a mighty hero, Yarrow. Allow me to extend a most sincere thanks. Please, you must tell us, did the Foul Queen have something special on her personage? Special? Not so much. She just had this weird looking glove. Here, you take it. Could it be that you recovered the great digging tool of legend? You have! These are the diggy claws. One knows the legends, of course. But one never truly believes that such a thing could exist. But here it is. Diggy claws? Allow me to explain. Spiny balls are excellent diggers in soft soil, but even we have trouble when it comes to hard soil and rock. We've dug everywhere we could on this planet. We've dug up every last worm that could be found in the softer soil. The diggy claws are the answer. These, brewing through solid rock, is a breeze. Indeed, a joy. But they are only useful in the hands of the spiny mole. But, you did fight so very hard to retrieve the Diggy Claws. Go on, take them. Not really, we couldn't. The other ones are so crazy about worms. Huzzah! Did you hear that? They refused our kingly reward. Do you think that, perhaps, they truly are? There can be no doubt. They are indeed the heroes foretold in the Book of Light. Minister, fetch me the Book of Light. It's all haste, you Clopomus. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> puff, puff, wheeze. Here it is. Read it immediately. <clears throat> After forming a bond of friendship with the spiny moles, the hero selflessly refused the king's reward. Caring not for their own happiness and thinking only of the well-being of the spiny moles. And then, the heroes. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Keep reading. I can feel time. Nay! History itself is on a cusp. They will release the sleeping planets from their curse. And they will then depart for new horizons aboard a ship of light. Now dreams of all men shall come true at that moment. It's so moving, so poignant. Heroes, you mentioned you were headed for Buffoon, did you not? Now it is our turn to help you as you have helped us. Your to journey to New Horizons, or so the legend says. And so we will do whatever it takes to send you to the planet of winds. <sighs> Mm. 
I understand a rocket lies dormant in the center of the Kave ruins deep in the innards of this planet. The Kave ruins center around a tower of great power. When the tower lost its power, the spaceship became dormant and slept. The only thing that can wake it is the star built in the land where stars sleep. Well, I know a few details of this legend, I am sure you'll be able to unravel the mystery on your own. Right here, Yaro. Grant these regal claws the opportunity to help you. We shall dig a hole to this land where stars sleep ourselves. Would that we could do more to prepare our people's debt to you. We shall begin at once to the digging grounds. Okie okay, okie. Okay. Off to the digging grounds with us. I love the moles, they're so weird. I should go stay at the inn. We do. Yay! Treasures! I got treasures! Okay. Sticky claws were as fabulous as the legend said. Sticky claws were so grand, like it was nothing but so much soft and creamy cheese. There's nowhere we can't dig. Allow me to extend a most regal thank you. Look at that twinkle in his eyes. He must really like digging. Come along, young mages. Alright, well, I'll go in there after I've collected my treasure. Hair clips. Ooh. Okay. Uh, what is the slippy oil? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, those are pretty good. Cool. I have I'm all I'm all decked out in equipment now. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, let's see. I think I will finish the uh the land where stars sleep and end it off for today uh because that just feels feels right now i'm at about uh 38 minutes i don't know if you need to um i don't know if i should keep trying to release uh videos that are that are um if, as long as the first magic stars in part but Honestly, this is a pretty long game, and I don't want it to be like 30 parts. Maybe I should just do longer parts. Um, yeah, it depends. Depends on what my hard drive can handle, really, uh, and my sanity for um, editing really long videos. Uh, I'll probably end off a little early tonight just because it is almost 10 p.m. Um, and I should get to bed soon. And one of the uh, 
the rare VTubers of having an okay sleep schedule. I'm not gonna say it's good, uh, but it is okay. Please, those ants beat me up. Okay, let me... Let me save, save, save. Oh, I missed a sugar star. And I have like eight of these suckers. That's pretty good. Our most royal appreciations, heroes. Climb up here and you should reach the land where stars sleep. We did not fully believe the minister when he first told us of your coming. But when we brought us the Diggy Claws, we had no choice but to believe. You will achieve something great. You may very well save our world from dark times. To you, we may seem like nothing more than underground diggers. Naive underground diggers. But that does not matter. To us, you are heroes. And we will tell our future generations of the hero named Yaro. I'm so sad. Do not cry, Minister. Let us send them off with a hero's farewell. Huzzah! By the way, heroes, do you know where your journey takes you from here? Blast up into space, heroes. Before that, you must decipher the legendary words to claim your rocket. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Pizza. Pizza, pizza. I'm gonna start asleep. God, I love the music so much. I keep saying this, uh, it never stops being true. Oh, hi. I'm a brownie. I've been growing radishes here in secret for some time. Oh, radishes are connected by a giant root network. That's why we know so much. You see this cave? The brownies there piled up about three mountains to build it. I don't know what these voices I'm doing are. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's so, like, ominous looking with the statues reaching for it. This game has some, like, serious- it's- it's not meant to be a horror game, um, but it definitely has a lot of horror elements to it. Um, I think that's part of why it uh, compels me so much to it. And, and, and it might not seem like it has horror elements to it right now, uh, but you will definitely see the further into the game we get, just how, like, horrifying it can really be. Um, it's really interesting to me. Um. 
And I fully intend on doing like a deep dive into this game uh, at some point. Uh, probably after I finish this playthrough uh, in its entirety is when I will do the do the deep, deep, deep dive on it. And that video might end up being like two hours long. So. Windmill in a cave, well. I can swear that's just a massive windmill, all right? It looks taller than the whole academy back home. That's so dumb. What's the point of building a windmill underground? There's no wind here. Lassie, you, you use wind magic, so... Uh... That's kind of the, the obvious, the obvious choice here. Here we go. The way it lights up like fucking Christmas lights. It literally just looks like Christmas lights. An ancient machine. I forget what those do. To be perfectly honest, there's a lot of items in this game that I just fully don't remember what they do, uh, and or I've never used them in my life. Expect that much damage. Okay. Uh. Yeah, okay. Whatever. I'm probably gonna cut some things out anyway. Um. So I think once, um, in about ten minutes, uh, when it hits ten p.m. is when I'll stop. Uh. And hopefully I won't be in combat then. If I am, uh, I will just, like, finish what I'm doing, obviously. I'm not just gonna quit. Unless it's, like, a boss fight. Uh, and it takes forever, then I may as well just, um, stop, uh, and pick up for my last save point. What was that? Might be able to finish Erd. Uh, I I don't really want to leave off uh, like right before the final boss fight on Erd. 
So I might just stay up a little past 10 p.m. to do so. Um, I don't want to have to, uh, but that might be what I have to do. I am noticing it's starting to slow down a little because it's been running for so long and this computer isn't very good. Um, it should be fine, hopefully, while I finish up. Avoiding robots like a pro. Oh god, I got past him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I should be able to actually finish um, pretty quick. I just have to destroy this guy. So I think if I just destroy this guy and I hop on the rocket, uh, that's the end of Planet Earth. Uh, and so getting it done in two episodes is pretty, pretty good. Um, I could have theoretically gotten it all done in one part, but it would have been like a minimum an hour and a half long. Um, and I just didn't want to do that uh, that much, so... So we're fighting this guy. He's, I think, he's the final boss battle of this, I guess, chapter. Planet. Oh god, he does so much damage. Oh, 216 is pretty good. Okay. Oh, I'm doing real good on the um, timing of these taps, which is nice. Ow. <laughs> oh, Lassie's not doing too good. I will have... I'll have myself heal her, uh, because her earth magic is really carrying us, and I don't want to have to waste a turn of Lassie not attacking. Okay. Be healed. Ugh. Oh, but two of them on last of you? Oh, you motherfucker. I hate this guy. The boss fights in this game are way too hard for it being a kid's game from 2006, I gotta say. Yeah. 
Like, maybe I'm just bad at video games, but I've whiffed so hard. I've, like, truly failed horrendously at these boss fights, uh, on occasion. Like, they suck so bad. Ooh, I'm super powered now. Ugh. I might have to waste a turn for both of us so that we can both heal up. We're not doing too hot on the health department here. Um, and if either of us die, uh, even though we do have a way to tell us still a waste of a turn. Uh, that could be better spent doing literally anything else. All of them on me? Oh my god. Okay. about my alarm. That was my 10 p.m. alarm. Uh, to tell me that's 10 p.m. Um. Anyway, we're, we're, we're beating this guy down. And I'm super powered, so I should be able to do some pretty good damage. Oh, yeah. Even without the type, the type, uh, the, the weakness. That's what- that's the fucking word. You can tell that my medication is kicking in because, uh, I can't remember words. Yes! Oh, thank god. What is the- what- what can I even do with the rusty screws, man? Get this rocket off the ground. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Another cutscene. Another cutscene, boys. Space Pod Newman prepared for liftoff. Please execute a command. Who's there? It's blasting off. There it goes. I love the the crunchy 2006 uh, 3DS, or not even 3DS, but regular DS graphics. <laughs> the fucking 3D models of the robots are so goofy. I love it. I love them. I love the Erd robots so much. They're truly one of my favorite things of all time. Off we go. Yeah, rocket blasting again. I love rocket blasting, it sounds so good. Messiah time. As soon as I get the opportunity to save, uh, I will be saving and then we will be quitting for the night. We're so bad at landing rockets. Yes! 
Captain. Well, there will be a rocket coming. He got some metal and space fires, methinks. I don't know how to do a pirate voice. Hmm? Is it the space police? Nar, it be no space police from the looks of it. We've got nothing to worry about. A handful of space tourists won't trouble us, I dare say. Man, it's freezing cold. I thought we'd landed on a water planet, but it feels more like an ice planet. Okay. So yeah, that is where we are going to call it uh, for today. Um, this recording is at a whopping, uh, like, hour and ten minutes. Um, so, as, we'll see how much I can cut down when I edit it, but it might just end up being really long. Um, but, yeah, uh, I hope... I hope to see you all in the next one. I hope you can continue on this uh, Magical Star Thing journey with me. Um, I'm having a lot of fun returning to this game. Um, let's see, shut up. Uh, I didn't even realize that was me. Uh, anyway, um, I don't know, like and subscribe. I'm tired, it's 10pm. Uh, I gotta go to bed. Um, so yeah, bye.